which child so you want to uh, follow faith? Yeah. Low ball faith or high ball faith? Huh? Huh? What's the high ball faith? Get it cracking, get it cracking. Yeah, I like it. Look, 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 you about to get Trey Peso affected. <laughs> On the high ball face, so I'm gonna go to from the temple all the way kind of diagonal. I said, bring a straight line all the way around the head, and we'll go diagonal to it. Get that effect I want for the, ball, for the high ball face. Some people got it twisted and got it mixed up with the south side, but it's not the south side. If y'all in other states and cities, man, that's a Dallas haircut, man. Strictly for South Dallas. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. That's business. Doing good. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Please, uh, I'm looking for a, a thrift store around right here. A thrift store? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you go right there on, take this road, make a right on this street right here. Okay. On Royal Lane. Get to Skillman. Make a left. It's going to be on Skillman and Adelia. Skillman and Adelia. Skillman and Adelia. Go straight down till you get Adelia. Right when you cross over the light of Adelia. Uh, it's going to be a Chase Bank to your left. Right when you cut Chase Bank, you'll see it over in the corner by a family dollar. Can I walk it? Huh? Can I trick it? Can you track it? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I don't know the address, though. Yeah, because I saw, on my GPS, I saw 11020. 11020. This is on the Off of Deer Road? On the Road. I don't know. I, I, got, I got there, and my GPS said I have arrived. So, uh, I don't know. There's no thrift store right here. I don't know no thrift stores around here. Okay, but that's, that's one down there. There's one down there, though. Yeah. Just keep going down Skillman till you get to Abrams. I go over the Abrams light, and you'll see a, a, a bank, a Chase bank, Chase bank to your left. You see that Chase bank? It's going to be a street. Right outside the Chase bank. And when you see that street, it's going to be a whole shopping center over there big. And you can't do nothing but see Family Dollar, the thrift store, um, a fiesta, stuff like that. Thank you. All right, no problem. Sometimes when you cut and you go get clients, you'll get people come in and talk to you, but uh, you gotta stay consistent, man. Don't don't try to be talking for a whole thirty minutes to the, to somebody that just walked in. Bottom out then, but I'm not gonna go all the way to the to the line I made. I'm gonna come break it down a little bit, so I won't have a hard line to get out. 
I'm gonna hit it like I'm blending it in, but really now I'm blending it, just not making a hard line. Brushing the hair as you cut so you get that excess hair off so you can see what you're doing. And you can see how much you gotta be in that one spot cutting the hair. But I cut the hair down too so I, so I won't be uh, hogging my clippers or my teeth eyeliners up. The top is a uh, the top is a, a one close. I got the one uh, one close on the top. Once I get them balled out, kind of good. I start fading them up. Well, I edge them up next. Then I fade them up. I do the edge up first, man, because it gives me a good guideline where I need to start to fade it, where I need to start blading it. Why did you connect all my blends? I'm going to ball fade. I'm going to probably do about four different blends in that little area to make it work. Come through and see what side is the better side or what side is higher. That's side you want to really kind of start at. But if it ain't, you just start in the middle. Yeah. I'm going through with my fade mouse is closed. Tapping it first about a about an inch up. I fade up. So uh, I fade up because it makes it easy for me to see what I'm doing. But when I fade down, I really I'm going down so I can't see what's the, what's the next step is unless I'm visualizing the whole time. Pace man, kind of speed. I kind of cut fast, so sorry if I don't uh, lose y'all a second. Or oh, I get in the zone and don't talk. Just keep your eyes on the prize, man. I got you. Hey, how you doing? The next line I do up, I go up, I just really tapping lines out now. I don't even do the another inch and all that, man. I just tap it out as I'm going. But now I'm on the, uh, the middle, the middle notch of uh, the fade map, knocking this next line out as I go up. Stop it right here at the like a crown part of his head. Make sure you keep knocking lines up until I see the blend. But make sure you always 
tapping your wrist, flicking your wrist, flicking your wrist, because it's all about that wrist play, man, when you come to this phase. You ain't moving your wrist, you ain't moving them clippers, man, you ain't gonna do nothing. It's a hard line, a visible line that you really don't see when you're failing. If you got a one up with the grain, you go with a you go with a one open all the way against the grain to knock the line out. Other than that, man, you got a, you got a cool, clean cut, fast, persistent. Clean those spots that you missed and stuff like that. Like this spot here, we clean that up, make it what it's supposed to look. Like everything else, if you see that's a dark spot right there. Just come through the same way you did the same method. You don't do nothing different. You start doing something different, you got to change the other side too. And you start trying to be all uh. I show magic tricks and shit, you know what I'm saying? Today it's a it's an art to it, man, and you just gotta think, don't mess the art up. You know, bring a new art to the game, you ain't gonna do nothing but fuck up. Period, period for a blunt. Tape because let's take one of the straightest things in the world. No curves, no nothing. And I can't go wrong with you know with no electric tape. Just gonna stick to the forehead. What? That's not enough. Stick to the forehead, man. Bow. Hair fibers, man. I have five room up. Do a light miss. Yeah, I just want to switch to keep it in here, keep it here. What you say, bro? I'm gonna go get the girls. I couldn't. All right, bet. I'm gonna come back. Now. All right. All right. Then I had to.
Yeah, yeah, that hundred dollar lining, man. Well, half five is off.